Welcome back, guys. This is what I've come up with for our Galahad. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have slots for another medium laser. I would have liked to put a medium laser or something in here, but we just don't have the slots because we have to have the three heatsink kits. Um, so, yeah. But it is what it is. Uh, we have... Oh, we can't use this because it's a proto. Darn it. All right. Uh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, we have prototype double heatsink kits, so why don't we just put some proto double heat sinks in and that's more enough than enough heat delta which is nice and it's a lot of weight that we can use so hmm we can get an extra weapon in here How much does a large chem laser weigh? Three tons. So if we put a large chem laser in there and gave it some ammo, if I can find some ammo for it, we don't have large chem ammo. That would have fit so well. Hmm... We could put a bolt on MS on there. I don't mind that. So what else could we put on here? Medium X pulse weighs two tons. All right, you know what? A medium X pulse doesn't have the greatest range but and then now we have a heat delta of minus two but what we could do in order to counter terrain is do that oh we need one more actually so we need that that gives us an a very good heat delta of minus 11 I can live with that. Uh, we do have a beagle probe in here. What if we switched the medium X pulse out with just a medium laser? Uh, that gives us two tons. Then we take the beagle probe out and we stick a warf warfare suite in here. That's better, I think. That gives us half a ton to work with, which means we can get a little bit of armor back. Uh, let's start by getting you to max. And then get you up. Like that. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Now the question is, can we, instead of the clan pharaoh, can we just use regular pharaoh? I think we can. Uh, but then we're underweight, so... Like that. That seems pretty good to me. 1.3 million, 36 days. It's not the most fantastic damage dealer, but it's an upgrade, I'd say. And it's a 50 tonner. So let's validate that. 
Uh, wait, cancel? Because we haven't put any of this stuff in that. Let's get some of this stuff in here. Uh, so, FCS... We do have an energy accuracy. But we do also have an AC5 in here. Uh, so how about an FCS improved? Uh, this is just that a lot of stuff is damaged. We know that. And we'll put a cockpit SLDF in there. Or a rangefinder. A rangefinder instead. And... Or sensors. Sensors tracker. Yeah. We don't have any life support systems. That seems pretty good. Right, validate that. Confirm. Confirm. 37 days. Okay. So you can go down there. You can go up there. I think we can sell this guy now. We're never going to use him. Scrap you. All right, 1.8 million. Uh, we have financial report in four days. We can easily afford to do that. Um, have Axel out for 15 days, but that's fine. Uh, throw a party in the lounge for Eek. Okay. That seems good. And financial report. Okay. Stay at normal. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I'd really like to get the drop size up. 2 million, we can't afford that right now. 1.9 million, we can't afford that right now. Mech base. 1.3 million. We can't afford that right now. Training modules? 231,000. Buy that. Alright, a few more days and we're ready to go. Do we want to wait until Axel is ready? I don't think so. We'll bring someone else. Uh, before we do, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's get you some piloting eek holdra. Uh, we'll save up a bit. I'm drinking wine and eating cheese and catching some rays, you know. Uh, we'll save you up a bit as well. Romeo. Save up for more gunnery. And we'll save up there as well. Visla. Uh, See you have Commander Brave Officer McWire. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll go tactician. Okay. Uh, so, command center. Commander. Let's see what we have for missions. And we have the Whitworth now, I think. So, that's kind of nice. Uh, been tracking a part lance. It's a one and a half skull. I think I want to do a one and a half skull. Destroy base, destroy base. Escort. Hmm. Oh, 
All right, a straight up battle against the local pirates. We do have our Whitworth ready. And it has pretty decent damage. So what's not coming? I guess it's the pirate Selectnia. Hmm. Or the Vulcan. The Vulcan is kind of our worst thing right now. So why don't you get in there? It's the it deals the less the least damage of anything. Then Huldra, you can get in the Whitworth. And for now, Eek. I mean, Oddball is better, but he's too loud. <laughs> I don't want to use him. So, we have one skull. They have one and a half. It's in the Badlands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? All right. I'll see you when we're ready to drop. All right. We're ready to drop. So, we need to destroy a pirate and an unknown hostile lance. So, hopefully they're hostile to the pirates as well. Okay. Okay, the enemy is over there. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. And we have support. Very nice. I think we'll deploy right here in the forest. Oh, I heard VTOLs. Hummingbird. Okay. Let's move up. And what do we see? A freebooter. Hummingbird. Frankie. What the heck is a Frankie? A slinger and a light LRM carrier. Okay. I think that was something over there. No, it's over here. Mortar technical. Okay. I kind of want to get rid of you. There's something up there as well. Wield APC. And what's this? Bradford. Bradford can be quite dangerous. Hummingbird coming in a little bit. We have an har a harasser on our side. Uh, what else do we have on our side? A J. Edgar with a flamer, a scimitar, and a scorpion. Let's move you over here and brace. Okay. Aethel fled. Uh, let's move up here and brace. Romeo. I don't really know which way to go. There's some nice mineral fields in there that we could go try and stand in here we go it's battle time mm 
Nice. Okay, Bisla. Let's get your Guardian ECM on. And you will go attack that thing. Yeah. Because you have the flak ammo. Why can't you shoot? There. Fire. Alright. Wingbird is almost open on the one side. Stinger coming in. Huldra in the Whitworth. You go finish off that hummingbird. Let's not let it get a turn. Well, the structure is exposed at least. Mortar is coming in. That wasn't too, too bad. Ronan. Let's turn your Guardian ECM on. And... What do we want to hit? Maybe that light LRM carrier. And hope that our allies will deal with the enemy. That's what we're going to try we're with the hummingbird. I think this is probably not enough to take you out, is it? It might be. It was. Nice. That's one down. Ooh, you're going melee. I think you missed. That melee camera is not really worth it, is it? Please take out the hummingbird now. Darn it. All right, the Frankie is going first. That was his PPC. Take out the hummingbird, please. Nope. Frankie is hot. Frankie is hot. I don't like that hummingbird still being alive. Okay, he's not doing anything. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Frankie. Okay. Uh, we have Eek and the... Goblin. You know what, Eek? You come up here. And you are going to fire Inferno on him. Let's get him nice and hot. Romeo. Let's finish the hummingbird off. There we go. That's two down. Six to go. Aethel fled. I think you come in here and... Um, do these do heat damage? Plus 40% heat generated. But that's critical effects. Uh, Alright, let's try it. Uh, 
It didn't do much heat damage, did it? Alright, another melee attack. We lost an ally. Okay. Oof, his structure is exposed. He's unsteady. All right, more mechs coming in. Great. Hold on. Um, that's a pretty good melee. Uh, we'll move over here. We'll give him a kick. We're not going to overheat. Nice hit. Okay. Well, he took some damage. Someone can take him out. Maybe Romeo... Romeo's turn. Mm. We kind of need. I can't get a shot on him though. From the side with you, which is annoying. So let's just move, and we'll shoot the stinger. Fire. All right, Stinger's structure is exposed. It's his turn now, maybe. All right, he didn't move. Rear attack. Heavy vehicle flamer crit. Lethal fled. Um, why don't you come over here? But not there over here. I'm going to try and overheat this guy. Fire. Right, left leg destroyed. Nice. And left torso. And he got an injury and he'll get another one from the knockdown. Not bad. Not bad. I still hear a chopper somewhere. All right. Tiny little bits of damage, not too bad. Ronan. Um, where are you open? On the left arm. Come over here and take a shot from here. All right, left arm destroyed, PPC destroyed. He's knocked down. Nice. Okay. I really didn't want to take out his arm, but we can live with it. Eek. Um, I want to put some more heat on you. I want to put some more heat on you. Ah, that's the engine. Destroyed. Darn it. Okay. Wow. Nice misses. Hey, Romeo. I kind of want you to come over here. And finish this guy off. Well, he's not finished off, but... His structure is exposed. Okay. 
Why are you shooting him from the other side and hitting my mech? Alright, Stinger getting up. And missing. Fantastic. Alright, here comes some more. Kuritan Library. Okay. Uh, let's see, are you hit anywhere? No, not really. So you're turn 13, you're only turn 6. Right, let's move over here and try and take out this mortar technical. Should be possible. We won't fire one of our lasers. There we go. Well, that's half of the beginning forces gone. What did these guys bring? A Jenner, I saw. A Hetzer. A Shillelag. A Wolverine, or Shillela, I think it's called, actually. Okay. It, it is a Jenner. I know it's a Jenner. All right, Stinger. Bye-bye. Wow, he didn't go... Wow, I was certain that he would be gone. Absolutely certain. Hold on. You just... Pull back one. And you finish him off without firing your medium lasers. Fire. There we go. Another one bites the dust. The Shalala is potentially quite dangerous, I think. All right, let's finish you off, Stinger, shall we? We'll just use dead fire for that. All right, the pirate lance is gone. We have two more from the support lance back there, and then we have the Kuritan forces. Okay. Seems to be going reasonably... Well, so far I'm happy. Aethel fled. Can you get somewhere where you can see anything? You can, actually. Um. Let's see. Well, 38.2% uh, has eh, it's not that much armor. Let's go vigilant with you because we can. Our miss. She always sounds so annoyingly happy when she says she missed. Uh, Alright, I guess we go here. 18.8%. It's not the best, but... It's a bit of damage. I don't understand why that chopper is still choppering. It seems weird. Uh, you just move and brace. Uh, go vigilant. Brace. Ronin. 
you can you know what you just move as well and brace Eek. you can sprint and go vigilant I think and done Aethel fled can you get somewhere where you can see something well you can from here but the hit chance is horrible and I want you to move so we'll move you in and brace Visla well you move up here that's a pretty good hit chance on the Shalala. All right, well, we started putting some damage on that. The long range ones really have it in for that scimitar. For some reason. All right, Romeo. Let's just... Uh, you have to sprint to get to somewhere where you can see anything. Right, 51, 23, 32... All right, Shillelagh it is. Uh, let's go Vigilant. Because you are kind of exposed there. But the Shalila is taking quite a bit of damage. Hmm, the Hetzer decided not to do anything. I don't know why they hate that Scimitar so much. A bit weird. Are you going to do something? No? Well, it's your turn now, so let's see if you're going to do something. Nope. Feels like the vehicles are a little bit broken. They're not moving. Who's that? That's the scimitar. Great. Thanks, scimitar. Well done. Jesus. That was a back hit. Fire. Well, a little bit of damage on the Jenner. Ronan. That's really not a great hit chance. Neither is that, but at least the spring it brings us a bit closer. Uh, let's go vigilant with you. Fire. Eek. Um. Let's go LK. Let's go Vigilant. And let's fire. Well, he's getting some damage. Fire. Is he going, going to go on steady or what? Not yet. I think that was at the hunchback. Yep. Hats are not moving. There's something wrong with the with the vehicles, it seems. Yes, 
just move one then. And fire. Upper leg destroyed. Now he's unsteady. But it's his turn. Great. Lethal flip. Those hit chances suck. Well, that's a little bit better. Fire. Okay, we are out of actions for this round. At least that scimitar is eating a lot of those long range guys. I think a Wolverine part. I think we have four Wolverine parts. So one more would give us a Wolverine. I'm fairly certain, not entirely. Eek. Let's. Keep going for the Jenner. Get that thing down. Yeah. All right, left arm destroyed. Unfortunately, not a leg. That would have been kind of useful. Terrible hit chances, but... All right, well, he's unsteady. Whistler, you may help by going over here. And... Do we... not fire that? Just so we get our heat down some more? Eh. Left leg destroyed. Left torso destroyed. There's not much left mech left there. Knocked down. Punch out. Nice. Okay, hold on. Uh, you're just going to move up. And brace. Get rid of some heat. And then... I guess we need... Well, first we need to finish these guys off, and then we need to go deal with the other ones. That was pretty good hits on that thing. Hey, it moved. Didn't do anything though, but it moved. Let's come up here and finish you off, shall we? Yes, we shall indeed. Outstanding. So there's a Wolverine, the Hetzer, and two somethings over there. Wolverine is running. Hetzer still doesn't want to move. So weird. Alright, Visla. Uh, we're gonna go start work on those guys. Ronan. 
kind of want to get a little bit closer, but we can't. Well, that's the better hit chance. Uh, let's not fire the medium lasers. Get some heat reduction going. Romeo! Well, if the Hetzer is not going to move, well, we need to take it out anyway. Uh, let's go Vigilant, though. What does the Wolverine have? Energy, energy, missile, missile. Okay. Let's just work on the Hetzer. Eek. Yeah, you can't hit the Hetzer, so you will work on the Wolby. Fire. Don't know why that scorpion suddenly started moving. Hold up, you go help with those two over there. Aethel fled. Let's try and get that headser down. Yep. Very nice. Free to go. Three to go. It's not too, too bad. Hey, the J. Edgar is moving. So weird. Uh -huh. Smart boy. Getting into cover. Can we hit here? Twenty-eight percent, thirty percent. All right, Bradford, it is. Pull drop. Uh, you go this way as well. Done. Ethel fled. You come down here and. Get a shot on him. Uh, let's go vigilant. How did you damage yourself? What was that? Can you get somewhere where you can get a hit in? You can. Let's do it. Um, fire. Nice. A head hit. Another one of those, please. Structure is exposed. He's unsettled. The suits are moved. Uh, let's come over here and do acid. Yeah, why not? I don't know what we're hitting there. Oh, it's the prowler. That we're hitting. Okay, fine, fine. Fine, fine. And then it's the Wolvie's turn. 
as the last one. Okay. I can live with that. I can absolutely live with that. Visla. Come on. Visla. I did not want you to fire. I want you to move up here. And shoot at this guy. Lethal fled. I am thinking that maybe a melee attack would be nice. From there. Attack. Ah, we missed. Dang it. Pulled her out. We can see him there. We can see him quite well. Fire. Nice. He down. Ronan. Hmm. I don't want to do a kick with her. It's the left arm that's open, so I kind of want to come over here somewhere. Because I don't want to take the arm off. Okay. He's getting a little uh, beat up, that guy. I'd like to knock him down. I'd like to knock him down. Let's not charge. That it will be a charge. Ah, crap. Camera, take it easy. Uh, he is turn 10. Romeo is turn 9. So... Right, you know what? We're going to hit him in the back with some acid. All right, nice. Pilot ejected. Beautiful. Okay, and we didn't have to finish off the last guy. Weird. Okay. Well... I think that's a full Wolby on the loop table. Which is not bad. Four hundred and eighteen thousand. Nice. Uh Frankie it was a forty five tonner, okay. One, two, three, four, five will be parts. I kind of like it. Uh, do we have will be parts already? Yeah, we have. So this is a one, one, two. This is a three, two. So the question is which one I want. Hmm, let's see what else is on the board. Thunderbolt 15 does very nice damage. You see him pirate. Mm, engine core 275. Not bad. Engine XL, we're definitely taking an Engine XL. There's just no two ways about it. Heatsink kit double. Yes, please. That's going. So 
So... Two endos. Three alarm tens right there, but we already have three of them. Is there anything else? There are the two heat sink doubles. Now we have ten already. Don't need to have that much. We have one pharaoh. So is this what we take? And then... I kind of think I, I like this one better anyway, because it has the um, the ballistic. But I don't know. I think this is what we do. Engine XL and a heatsink kit double is great. Bradford part, Frankie part, Bandit Hovercraft part, four light LRM carrier parts. All five will be parts. Nice. Issue two Kaliyama, which is very nice as well. Vehicle Flamer, Pirate Thunderbolt 15. Nice. Engine core 275. We'll keep that. Engine XL, four heat sinks. Uh, they can go. Spiked. That can go. Structure times eight can go. AC 20. Double, we'll keep ammo LRM Sam, we'll keep ammo mortar and we'll prefer rifle ammo. Okay, not a bad haul. Let's get back to the Argo and see which will be we are going to assemble. Okay, we're back. Debian took Barlow's in from Corita, turn uh, Concorda took Smithen from Liao. Okay. Shouldn't be too much damage to fix. No. Perfect. Um, well, I suppose that's fine. But let's get to the mech bay. Storage. Medium. All right, so... We have the 8C, 18 barrel introduced by Victor and blah, blah, blah. A large pulse laser as its primary weapon. And a small pulse laser. This version carries two streak SRM6 launchers. Okay. Hmm. Fairly flexible in terms of weaponry ranges, tending somewhat more toward closer range. So which one do we want? Which one is better? So if we say scrap, these are 31,000 a pop. These are 32,000 a pop. It's not a big difference. And we're, we're just one part away from getting another Wolvi. Which I wouldn't necessarily mind. I feel like we're very reliant on lasers and I'd like to do some more stability damage. So I'm going to take the 6Rs. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll add a Wolvi part to that. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it basically has nothing left. No engine core, no... One jump jet and a medium laser. <laughs> it's not all that much that's left and we certainly can't afford to build it up right now what 
What we could do, though, is start work on it. But we don't need to because we already have two mechs that are being built. The Blackjack and the Galahad. So we can afford to wait a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll wait a little bit. Uh, Axel is out for six more days. So it'll be six, four days, six days, let's say, until we can go out again. And that's fine. Cool. But anyway, we are out of time for today. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.